Hey folks, a few weeks ago I was scouring eBay for a bargain, as most eBay buyers do, and I came across a an interesting listing that sparked my interest. And uh, it looked like the, the photo was of this pallet, and I'll try and put the picture in the video or link to the, the listing in the description, but um, the photo was of this pallet filled with boxes in this warehouse, and it said um, 100 plus uh, mixed CDs. Uh, it's kind of like a mystery box of stuff. And as um, some of you will know, I've got my own Discog store, Andy Social Records, and I'll put a link in the description. There you go, plug, plug, plug. Um, and so I'm always looking for new stock. And so I thought, mm, the likelihood of me finding some gold here is going to be quite slim, but I want to know what's inside the mystery box. So I contacted the seller, trying to ask, like, you know, what's the split of genres and things like that that I could expect. And um, they couldn't really guarantee too much. And from what I understand, this stuff is potentially X music store um, stock, uh, stuff that was not uh, sellable or stuff that's been... I don't know, I don't think it'd be returned from the label because usually they'd destroy that stuff. But um, anyway, um, it's it, this is really a random box. I have no idea what's in it. I don't even know the condition. I think most of it is brand new stuff, but I think there was a couple of disclaimers in there saying that some stuff could be damaged or there could be booklets missing. So really, this box could be an absolute dud. However, I'm excited. I love the idea of just opening this mystery box and just seeing what's inside it. So I thought instead of me just going through this and opening it myself, I'll do the really original thing and do an unboxing video so uh, you can all check it out as well. Um, if there's anything good in here, um, then it will be on my Discog store in due course. So you can check the listing, um, check the uh, description to see the, uh, the link to my store. And you can pick up any of these titles if they're still around. Um, anything that's absolute trash and just can't even be sold, um, I'll probably use them as giveaways. So anyone who's ordered from me before will usually uh, receive a whole... Uh, an array of random stuff, stickers and flyers, promotional stuff, uh, CDs, just all sorts of odds and ends that I love to include in there just to make it a little bit exciting. So let's get into it. All right, here's the box. So let's let's get into it. Um, it's been all over the United States, uh, Kentucky, um, sorry, uh, Missouri, Kentucky, Indianapolis, Cincinnati, LA, I think I went to Vegas as well before coming to Sydney. Coming to Sydney and then going through three different um, like providers to get to me. So it's been everywhere. So more than likely, because these are CDs, they're probably all damaged as well. But um, let's see what's inside. All right. Well, here we go. Andy Rock Metal. So they're going to try and help me out. So. Let's see, I'll uh, position this camera a bit better. All right, let's do this. So, we could be in a bit of trouble, folks. So they did say some things could be missing. So here's a fuel CD, of all things here. Oh, this focus is gonna suck. But um, booklet, CD, no back inlay. So that might be, end up being in the freebie pile. Let's see what else we've got here. We've got uh, the unplugged collection. Volume one, that's interesting. So, cool. <laughs> the black peppercorns, never heard of them. Uh, Cumbia All Stars, I'm sure that's not how you pronounce it, but uh, yeah, okay. Madonna, bedtime stories. Rock and metal, all right. They did warn me, and uh, yeah, we'll see. Continuum. Okay, and uh, this is Grey D Lease or something like that. Anyway, there you go. To a Life of Crime. Never heard of them. So let's have a quick look at these because, yeah, I mean that's that looks brand new. Doesn't look like it's been played. But I think it's I think it changes depending on like it varies. It varies quite a bit. Bare Naked Ladies. Wow, look at that one. Yeah. Okay. I think I've got a real dud here, guys, but who knows? We'll see. Gatecrasher Global Sound System. There you go. And, uh, oh, shit. Uh, the, the White Stripes. So there you go. Uh, case is a bit busted, but that's okay, because um, I've got plenty of brand new cases that I usually change everything into anyway. Ooh, that's a bit... It's a bit scuffy, a bit scratched. So maybe there's some new stock in here as well. But anyway, there we go. 
So we'll chuck that there. Ah, oh, there's heaps, folks. Very exciting. Oh, I got a Yes CD. Now that is cool. Union. Very cool. Okay, needs a little bit of a clean, but not too bad. Pull a coal. Okay. No idea. M2M. No idea. This shows my lack of music knowledge outside of rock and metal. Eagle. Eagle Eye Cherry. Look that fella. There you go. All Star Tribute. What's going on? Tears for Fears. There we go. Greatest hits. What else have we got here? We got the Dark Horse Project. Home Brain Surgery Kits, the Phenoms. Okay. Cola. Indigo Girls. Christina Aguilera. Okay. Bit of pop in here. Another Christina album there. Any Christina fans, hit me up. Sting. <laughs> Lenny Kravitz, looking a bit... I mean, I don't know what that... That brown jizz is, but um, anyway. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, no, it's not too bad. So these are real sort of... These will all be majority... Uh, the majority of them will be cheap CDs, if any of these end up on my Discord store. Uh, but most of my stuff's usually rock and metal, but I do have a bit of pop and punk and stuff like that as well, so... We'll see. We'll, we'll go through these in a bit more uh, finer detail later. Rhythm, Country and Blues. Hootie and the Blowfish. Blowfish, I should say. Uh, Celine Dion. Nora Jones. Wilson Phillips. Okay. All right. Is this autofocus working? Probably not. Uh, the old Backstreet Boys. There we go. A bit of rock and metal. John Brennan. promo for True North. Okay. Oh, sometimes the promo CDs are cool. Something unique. Macy Gray. Paint the Sky with Stars. Alright. Filter. I know that one. TLC. There you go. Rock and Metal. Right there. <laughs> Buzz Bands. Uh, I think this might be 989 The Bear. Okay, I don't know that one. A look into, into independent music. So it looks like a compilation of some sorts there. Tenacious D. Alright. Creed. Creed. Uh, J2 La Fa Lo. Okay, I don't know. Bit error. Oh, here we go. We've got Enya. Definitely a bit of rock and metal there. <laughs> Lockie, Here in Paradise. Never heard of that one before. Uh, s swimmer, swimmer Surreal promo. With the old gold promo stamp. Uh, the Eclectics. Never heard of them. Clinton, Disco and the Halfway to Discontent. Matchbox 20. I think there's probably 500 million of those CDs lying around. Uh, Discovery Sampler. Rock. Rock. All right. Kelly Rowland. Looking at herself in the mirror. Uh, Hughes Loose LLP. Battle of the Bands. All right. Complete 80s. Oh, God, it's folks. I mean... Oh, this one. Here, look at this one. This one's great. An upside down CD. Complete 80s. Oh, that's disc 5, and this one was disc 2. So, that might, they might be freebies. Peter Gabriel. There you go. No. Oh, here we go. More of them. Oh, jeez, this case is falling apart. Disc 4 there. Oh, shit. This one's disc 3. Platinum Classics with some some chick on there with some some music on her back. Platinum Classics. All right. Oh, there's a Chicago song on there. All right. Some power ballads. Uh, B. Ah, uh, sorry. Fifty four forty. Never heard of them. Oh, what else have we got in here? Uh, 
Joan Bays or whatever. Billy Myers. Let's make some room. Oh, okay. Ace of Base. Oh, that she wants. Okay, Eric Clapton. Jackson Brown. Radford. All right. Madonna. Scott Thomas ba Band. Is that Scott Thomas? Was he the guy from Matchbox? No, probably not. No, that was someone else, I think. Oh, who knows? Dev Electric. Poi Dog Pondering. Let's move this one's out of the way. Sister Hazel. Gravity Kills. Oh, what have we got? James Brown. Luck Bonnie 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 Rate, I think. That'll do. Interesting. Digipack. Oh, here we go. Another upside down CD. Uh, Transatlantic Airwaves, the energy of sound. Then we've got Don Henley. There we go. Tina. Tina. Right. Local H. There's a CD in there. It's upside down. Oh, I'd love to know the origin of these CDs. Where are they getting them from? Thrift shops, maybe? They're clearance. I mean, a lot of them have got clearance uh, $2 stickers on there. So, who knows? Keith Murray. There you go, Keith O. Buzz Oven. Never heard of that. The Geraldine Fibers. Never heard of them. Peter Gabriel, again. Soulful Sounds. Put some stuff down here. Uh, then we've got Steve Winwood, Soul Time Classics, Classic Soul Hits, Robert Cray, Armageddon Soundtrack, there you go. Mission Impossible 2 Soundtrack, that's the Metallica I Disappear Sound, there you go. There's a bit of broken CD case for you as well. Look, they've definitely come a long way. So I don't expect them to be in perfect condition. David Cook, whoever you are. George Michael. Gadget White Band. Alright. Don't even know if I'm showing this. See, he's up on the camera properly. Macy Gray again. Oh, it's my lucky day. Uh, Yosefa. That chick. James Hall. Ruby. This is reiterate. Reiterate. Oh, we're almost there, folks. This is Alex Coper. Alanis Morissette. There you go. Jay Little Pill. Um, one of those uh, gold promo stamps for Thermidor. Okay. Interesting. Family Force 5. Haven't heard of that. Tori Amos. Julia Fordham. Fordham. Um, little technical difficulty there, so uh, we continue. But we're almost done, folks. So I think I did ELO before. So the, there we go. Uh, Jermaine Dupree. Okay. Where's our focus point? There we go. Right there. Jess Klein. Yeah, something like that. The Platinum Collection. Oh, very exciting. Thrice. D... Detago? Detago? Interesting. Uh, Mike Rayburn. All right. Oh, I think this is the last pile, is it? Yes, okay, so we've got uh, Banana Blender Sun Surprise. Fucking hell, what the, what the hell have I got here? Uh, we've got Heather, Heather Nova. Heather, Heather Nova. P. 
Pink on Vogue. Oh, on Vogue again. And Swan Island with a little shark. A little shark, a little dolphin there. And uh, last but not least, uh, Jennifer Lopez with the boobs out. Well, not boobs out, there you go. Jennifer Lopez. So, here we go. Um, verdict. Well, I think you guys can probably already work it out. Um, the listing was, I think the description, I'll get it wrong, but it's like 102 plus CDs. So all up, there was 115 CDs here. And for the purpose of reselling, oh, I reckon maybe 20 of these CDs I could possibly put up on Discogs, maybe, I don't know. The rest will be uh, definitely giveaways. I think uh, some little fun extras will be thrown in uh, different orders for a laugh and a bit of fun. Um, look, I think if you're a pop, um, pop or more mainstream sort of music lover, um, and you still buy CDs, then this is a this is a great bargain. I think even if you live in Australia or another part of the world where shipping is still like ridiculously expensive, um, it still works out okay. It's like it's it's less than three bucks a CD, Australian, um, and if you're in the US, I think this is like. If you're like me and you love giving really silly presents to people, you could potentially do like a mystery box birthday present or Christmas present or something like that. Because I think it was like, yeah, $15 or something like that for the box, um, which is just, it's nothing. So uh, definitely, um, definitely look into that if you're in the States. Um, but otherwise, if you're a rock and metal fan like me and um, you're also um, sort of out there selling music online as well, probably not the best thing to do so uh there you go an experiment um i did enjoy opening it and uh enjoyed sharing this with you as well so so there you go uh if you are a metal and rock fan if you like most music um i've got a whole array of things on my discog store lots of cds lots of vinyl cassettes music dvds metal rock pop blues jazz alternative indie heaps of stuff on there so check it out Link in the description, usual sort of stuff that say on YouTube. But uh, there we go. Me and Jennifer signing out.